Welcome back to SnowRunner, guys, and in this video, we are going to be taking a look at the IX3880. Now, I'm sure you guys will be able to tell what this thing is based on without actually having the branding right there on the front of it, but nonetheless, we're going to be referring to it as the IX3880 because Puppy Master has put tons of work into this build, and as you can see, there's a lot of room to do stuff with this truck. There's a lot of room to turn it into a hauler. There's a lot of room to, to, to turn it into a like a flatbed rollback truck there's a lot of room also to install a sleeper but not only that there's a lot of room for the primary feature of the ix3880 and that is the rotator now this is the first of its kind and those of you that frequent my streams will have probably seen the rotator attachment before but if you haven't and this is your first time checking this truck out do know that this is currently in, as I'm recording this video, is it is in its final stages of testing and then shortly thereafter will be released to the public. So, without any further ado, let's go ahead and fire this thing up, get it into the garage, and see what options there are on offer in terms of customization. And also, one of the cool little things about this truck is that if you look at the interior view, the speedometer is in kilometers, but the really cool part about that is that that speedometer is accurate. So Puppy Master actually put in loads of work to make sure that, at least in terms of kilometers, that that particular speedometer was accurate. So that's very, very, very cool. Now, moving on into the customization. So we have two different variants of the ISX Cummins. Well, we have the SE, which is a balanced version that gives you a S plus power to rate rating, which is the ISX 15 Cummins. And then we also have the OP version, which is the IX 15 Cummins engine, which that one basically it gives you even more power and greatly reduces the fuel consumption. So we're going to actually go with the, uh, the SE engine, which gives you fairly realistic fuel consumption. Actually, wait, hold on that. Oh, <laughs> that's funny. But with that being said, with that being said, we've got the realistic engine in there, engine in there. We could also go with the A16 V2000, the Westline V16 um, M2300 or M2450. Those are also some other options that you do have on the table. So now, gearbox wise, we have balanced, high range, off road, SE special off road, and the OP Iggy's R and D gearbox, which we won't be using for this particular test, but we're going to be using the special off road box. Now, I will say the OP gearbox we might use a little bit later on for the bridge jump because, as you guys know, we must include that in these tests. I, it's it's kind of become a staple of these tests at this point, and I really like including it in there. So we'll go with the special off road, and suspensions are where it gets interesting. So you have the base soft, base hauling. Soft crawler suspension, um, sorry, soft crawler suspension and also soft crawler suspension, which basically I guess this is a slightly taller variant of the same thing, or maybe it's mislabeled, I'm not sure. So you also have the jacked soft suspension, the jacked hauling suspension, and the active suspension. So we're going to go with the, let's see, the jacked hauling suspension. Now tire-wise, you have, whoa, what suspension requires 49s? It says, please install appropriate suspension. What do we need for the 39s? Oh, that's weird. Is it active? No, it wouldn't be. I guess maybe soft crawler? Yeah, that would be... Okay, so if we wanted to do the soft crawler suspension, that way we would be able to do the 49s. But 44s will be good for this. The only thing is, we'll see. We'll test it out and we'll see if it, if it really greatly limits us when we go to use the rotator. So, I do like these IX uh, stock highway wheels, but I want to look through some of the other larger tires as well. We have an all-terrain one by Quasi, an all-terrain one um, on a different wheel by Quasi as well. We have, oh, the OP bug tires. The bug tires basically, let's see, will cause bugs. Yep, pretty much. So, we've got also the IX uh, heavy off-road. We've got the True Duels, which those are, those are literally on, I wouldn't say every truck, but... A lot of the mod trucks are starting to get access to those now, and it's really, really cool. I love seeing those. You could also go with the true duels if you really want to go for that, uh, that like, front and rear dually look. And there's actually... Whoa. 
Off-Road 2 by Quasi. Those are really nice, actually. Those are super, super nice. And then you, of course, have your full selection of Quasi's Monster Mud tires, but with the ice studs. So if you want to go that route, you have access to those. Now, later on down the road in this test, we will be doing a couple of different changes to the setup. But I think as of right now, I'm going to be going with SE off-road two tires and we're gonna see we're gonna see how those do um supposedly they have an excellent mud rating so we'll be sure to test that we're gonna go with the se offline winch and we'll stick with the basic uh matte snorkel and we'll go with the all-wheel drive front axle as well and the frame add-ons are where it gets very interesting so you have the three slot cargo box and you have a lot of different utility mounts that require the rotator to be installed in order to use. So you also have the three-slot uh, sideboard. You have the IX rollback body, the short one that you find on the original IX wrecker. But you also have a long uh, rollback body, which actually looks really, really good on there. And you can install um, a couple of other add-ons up front, like the sleeper, for example. But still be able to haul very long trucks with that. And this is what everybody's been waiting for. This is the IX 70-ton rotator. Now, the 70-ton rotator, obviously, it works a lot like a crane. It controls a lot like a crane, and that's how it's set up to function in the game. So if you enjoy uh, the standard crane functionality, you'll be right at home there with that. You also have the IX sleeper, and if you want to, you can throw the... Oh, wait. Oh, you can't throw those in by themselves, so you have to choose either the sleeper or the toolbox. That's fine. Uh, you can also do modified versions of the mini cranes, which I thought was really cool as well. And if you want to, you can have a saddle high or saddle low all the way there on the back, way back by the wheels. So right now, we have the sleeper as well as the 70-ton rotator. And now we're going to go ahead and move over to... Oh, I guess we can throw the mud flaps on it. And then you have a couple of different roof add-ons that you could do, uh, chrome and matte or painted horns. So we'll probably just leave the matte ones on there. You also have a choice between chrome, matte, and painted visor, which I think I'm going to stick with the matte visor as well. And then as far as the grill goes, you have cr chrome trim, matte trim, and painted trim, which is really cool. I actually like the matte trim because it goes around the headlights as well as the grill itself. So I really dig that. And the hood also opens, which I'll show you when we take it out of the garage. Now, you also have a added mass bumper guard, which you can use as well. You also have a winch bumper with 2,500 added mass if you really want to keep the front end down um, for really hardcore hauling situations. So, we've also got the option to choose matte mirror housings and matte or chrome fuel tanks. I'm going to go with the matte fuel tanks. So there's a lot here. So, we've also got some IX stickers, which we can throw on the sleeper. And then, we've also got some that we can throw on the rotator the only problem is the rotator disappeared it, it shouldn't have where's the rotate there it is yeah the rotator disappeared as i was going through some of the options so that is that should go ahead and let you guys know that sometimes sometimes there's there, there's a couple of little things that may need to be may need to be ironed out before it gets fully released but you can also throw that sticker on the rotator which is basically um ix recovery service and that only really becomes prominent when you take the camo color off and then we're gonna go ahead and just throw a uh, matte well let's see we'll throw a matte ix exhaust on there and then you have a couple of other wheel options you can choose from, uh, like the red Quasi XC7 or Chrome Quasi XC7, which I'm going to go with. And then when it finally comes to the paint job, there's a lot that you can do. Now, I really dig the red, but we're going to go all the way through the color list and options list because there are some striped colors as well, like this one, for example, as well as the orange with the black stripe. Uh, red with the black stripe. I really dig red with the black stripe. I think it looks really, really good on the truck, but it also looks good in the gray. It also looks good in the, um, like, kind of like that off matte white. So all of these look like really solid options. And then, of course, you could put beans on the dash, and we can hang, uh, probably just like a pine tree or something from the, uh, from the mirror up there. And then we can throw, actually, a couple of stickers on the dash if we want, like the uh, No Road No Problem Park Where I Want. And then if you wanted to go with these, you could, but I don't think they fully function yet. And then you could also do, oh, oh God, oh God. Okay, I think, yeah, I see. Okay, so he basically has three different versions of the Snuffles hood ornament. 
and then that one is for the matte bumper. Now, Snuffles, if you don't know, is actually the mod creator's personal dog. So the fact that he made a hood ornament for this truck out of like a 3D model of his actual dog is so incredibly freaking cool. But without any further ado, let's take it out into the world and see what this thing is like. So looking at this thing out in the light, I mean, obviously it looks wonderful. It looks amazing. And when it actually reaches the hands of the public, I'm sure that people will be able to get this thing into all sorts of crazy situations and use it for some actual towing role play. And as you can also see, the light bar is fully functioning, but we're gonna go ahead and actually disable the light bar for now. Now, before we also continue on, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the hood as well, fully functioning clamshell, and you can see the engine in there in all its glory with the, the intake, the engine itself, the valve cover, the intercooler piping, it's all there. It is all there. Even down to the turbo, the downpipe, it is literally, literally all there. So we're going to go ahead and close it back again now. And if you wanted to actually perform a recovery using the rotator, you would activate the anchors. And these anchors fully fold out and actually go all the way down and brace the truck and lift it up off the ground. So incredibly cool. And then when you actually go to activate them again, they fold all the way back in and then basically retract all the way back into the body of the truck. So I'm gonna show you how the rotator works a little bit later on in the video. We'll spawn in another truck to actually perform a rescue with. And then if you were to go into the trailer store, as you can see, we have a full range of trailers, but you're not really gonna be using all that many of them uh, with this rotator add-on attached. You're really not gonna be using any of them with the rotator add-on attached, but We'll go ahead and make our way out into the wilderness. We'll do a little bit of testing. But first off, I want to actually see if we can pull out a vehicle like from, you know, sort of a sort of a sketchy situation. We'll use this thing for what it was made for. Now, let's just say that hypothetically a truck was coming through here and maybe locked up its brakes and swerved and drove off the bridge. Like, let's just use that as our hypothetical scenario. So if we wanted that to be our hypothetical scenario, let's use, for example, uh, the, well, not the Azov. Let's use something, uh, the Bandit, the Kolobs. We could use any of those. Let's say, let's say the Royal. Let's say the Royal had a bit of a, a bit of a tragic accident right there. So let's see what we can do with just a very small test of the rotator to see what that functionality is like. So go ahead and whoa he seems to be in a bit of a bad way doesn't he so let's go ahead and get the truck positioned somewhere where it should be pretty well solid let's position her right here let's just see if we put the anchors out right here we should be okay and they're all sitting well one of them's not on the ground but eh, we'll we'll go into crane mode i really want to demonstrate to you guys how this thing works so as you can see fully functioning crane basically you can rotate it however you see fit really it just about goes all the way around all the way around no issues whatsoever and you can also of course quickly adjust your uh quickly adjust your anchors from the crane mode as you can see um in here with that little uh quick command of the left stick so let's see god what an incredible looking vehicle i love the way i love the way it looks but not only do i love the way it looks i love the sort of like you know the sort of situations you can actually use it for so now that we are attached to the royal let's see if we can pull it just a little bit oh that's so awesome that is so sick oh my god i want to see that i want to see that from the free cam because i feel like that would be so cool just to look at like looking at that in the free cam should give you guys a little bit of an idea of how far the modding community has come but not just the modding community the level of mods that we have now we literally have a rotator tow truck what like the fact that i'm even saying that we have a 70 ton rotator in snow runner now coolest freaking thing ever absolutely love it and i could not be happier about the fact that it's here and that it's you know it's fully functioning i absolutely love that and i feel like i feel like this marks a certain stage in snowrunner mod development where 
you're seeing mods now that they're not just for exploration, they're not just for hauling, but they're for literal, like, roleplay towing missions. I mean, that's so incredibly freaking cool, and I cannot say enough about how much amazing work Puppy Master has done here. And not only that, but all the people that have helped him get this truck to the point to where it is now. So, we're gonna go ahead and go back to the controls now. We'll pull that guy just a little bit further on, and actually, we gotta go back into crane mode. The full control. We'll rotate him just a little bit this way. Lower it down. Not bad. Not bad. And just for a hypothetical little test scenario, I mean, he should be able to drive out from there. But that is absolutely wild. Absolutely wild. So we'll restore the crane now, bring the anchors back in, and just for good measure, I'm going to go ahead and actually remove that royal so it's not just chilling out there. But now we're going to actually go ahead and do some off-road testing with this thing just to kind of see what it's actually like to take this thing, you know, out into the wilderness and see if it's something that could really hold its own, not only on the trails and not only from a functional standpoint as a tow truck, but from the standpoint of something that you would actually drive around the map and use. Because remember, you can use this truck also as a cargo hauling vehicle or even as a semi truck. Now, it's cool. We have beans in here and snuffles on the hood. That's freaking great. Let's see if I'll climb this hill in high. I doubt it with this setup. So being completely uh, like being completely honest here, the fact that it won't actually climb that hill is probably a pretty good thing for balancing because I feel like, you know, if it could climb everything, then it would be pretty dang unbalanced, right? So let's go ahead and give it a little bit of a rotation here. We got to rotate the rotator. Ha ha funny, but <laughs> oh god, it's a little bit up on its side. Ooh, all right. So we'll run it through a mud test real quick. I'm not going to do the dips obstacle with this thing uh, because I feel like that probably applies to it the least because you're not really going to be taking this thing down the really tight, tricky trails all the time that you have a lot of those deep dips on, but you will be taking it through mud. That is for certain. You will be taking it through mud and you will be using the rotator for sure. But before we do the bridge jump, we are definitely going to install all of the OP engine and gearbox stuff, and we're going to make this thing go off the jump as high at as high of a speed as we possibly can. So right now, rolling through the mud and high, we're actually doing pretty well. That's sort of the first stage of the deep mud, but as we all know, it gets a lot deeper up here, and whether or not this will actually be a good result remains to be seen. Let's find out. Wow, doing really well so far. Did very well through that. Very well. That's incredibly respectable. That means high range is tuned very, very well in this thing. The fact that it can run through the mud like that and not really complain at all whatsoever, massive, massive testament to the gearbox programming. And not just the gearbox programming, but also the tires and the engine and everything like that, of course. But that a lot of that is down to the ratio that he's programmed for high gear. So that's really, really good. So now, I'm going to actually use, let's see, IX Engine 2, which is the OP one, and then, where's the, where's the gearbox? There's the gearbox. IX Gearbox 2. So now, we have the OP Engine and the OP Gearbox, and, oh god, I can definitely tell you it feels, okay, high range is tuned a lot differently, isn't it, Beans? Oh boy! Woo! Oh my god, it got sideways there. That's wild. That's absolutely nuts. I did not think that it would get sideways there. That's amazing. That is absolutely wonderful. See, the thing is, Beans is in here, like, just kind of chilling out. But I can only imagine what the experience is like out there on the hood for Snuffles at this speed. Oh, it's really taking off now. Come on. Whoa! Save me! Oh no, that's gone really well. I tried to quick winch, but instead of going to a solid tree, it went to a sapling, and we ended up on our side because of that, so don't worry about it. We're about to get to the bridge jump, and this will hopefully be the fastest tow truck we've ever taken off the, uh, off the bridge jump. Throwing it high. I should be quick. Well, let's see. What about, what about eighth gear? Oh boy. Oh boy, picking up the pace. Picking up the pace! There's 8th gear! Oh my god! Well, it works! 
And all we got from all of that was minor suspension damage. So that's definitely what I would consider a respectable result. But if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to let me know your thoughts and opinions on the video as well as the truck in the comment section down below. I will, of course, be down there to answer any questions you guys might have. And also, make sure that if you want to see more videos like this, you, that you click that subscribe button and turn those notifications on. And I'll see you guys next time.